How you doing? Good, how are you? Um, if they're out in public, I can take photographs of them. Sure? I can take photographs okay, of them. Okay, go ahead and round them up, Danny. I'm going to call the sheriff's office. Is this a private lot? Sir? Yes, sir. There's a right-of-way right through there. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, sir. City right away. City right away, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. And it's against the policy for DOC to take pictures. That's why we're going to go ahead and get them out of here. Okay. Well, I'm not. I don't work for the DOC, so yes, I'm not. Yes, I know. But I'm, we have we have people that go around and do it. I don't work for them either. Right. But uh, on our thing, if, if we have people take pictures of them, we're supposed to load them up and leave. Yeah, that's that's sales what policy. We're do. We appreciate it though. Sales policy. Yes, sir. They're out in public. It's a matter of public interest. Yes, yeah, sir. But that's why we're going to go ahead and load them up. And who do you work for? I work for uh, Honor Road Civil Rights Investigations. That's what I thought. Yes, sir. Yeah. Come on, let's go. So this is what they do. They try to claim Sorry. that... I'm just narrating to the camera. They try to claim that what I'm doing is causing them to stop their work. And it, they, this is their attempt to try to make it sound like I'm interfering with the, what the, the inmates are doing. It's Shit, a policy pull. by the FDOC to try to circumvent the First Amendment. If they actually think that they can bring the inmates out into public and not expect the public to see or record what they're doing, they've lost their minds. Yes, ma'am. This is, this is uh, Mr. Brassett, work for the city of Lake Butler. We're right here between uh, McDonald's and Family Dollar. So this is uh, the town of Lake Butler in Florida. Uh, this is in Union County, Florida. This is the county seat of Union County. The, the town of Lake Butler is the county seat for the county of Union County. Uh, this gentleman here that's rounding up the inmates, these are state inmates. Uh, they are on a crew for the city of Lake Butler. Uh, he works for Lake Butler. So he is rounding up the inmates, putting them in the truck, and they're taking off like little babies. And they have called the sheriff's department. So we'll see what happens. But like I said, this is what this is their little tactic that the Florida Department of Corrections tries to do. What what they do is they try to say that if you come out and you film them, what they do is they they round them up and they stop the work and they put them in their work van and they leave. And then they write up a little report saying that, uh, claiming that I inter interfered with their working program, their work program or their custody. Uh, and they try to pile up all these reports. They've been doing this for years. It's never amounted to anything uh, other than just a bunch of reports. They try to pile up against me or anybody that takes photographs of them to hopefully, I guess, one day to try to charge me with some sort of crime to suppress First Amendment protected activity. I mean, it's completely ridiculous. Look at this. Here we are. This is State Road 100. You have... Then they go off in that direction. You have hundreds of people that drive up and down this road. This is a busy state road in the state of Florida. In downtown Lake Butler, Florida... Hundreds of people drive by here. No telling how many of them have dash cameras. No telling how many of these businesses around here have cameras on them that are recording the inmates. People look over here and see the inmates doing their job, but if you point a camera at them and document what the inmates are doing, they pitch a little hissy fit and round up the inmates and take off and then try to blame the, the camera person for interfering. But, uh, you know, there's been plenty of documented cases where these inmates have been out here, the uh, supervisors, the, whether it be a city or a county employee or an FDOC employee, uh, you know, they, they bring contraband into the prison through these inmate work crews a lot of times. Uh, the inmate work crews have stuff that's dropped out here, uh, alcohol, stuff like that, drugs. 
cell phones, other kind of contraband that's dropped out here. And they're picked up out here on the, out in the, the fields and on the work crews and they're brought into the prisons. But, uh, you know, it's, it's well documented. There's a lot of fraud that goes on, a lot of criminal activity that goes on with the Florida Department of Corrections employees and city employees. And that's probably one of the big reasons that they don't want you pointing the camera at them. You know, other things like meeting women, having sex with women. So they have taken off. But we'll see if the Sheriff's Department arrives. They probably won't even come out here. Because the guy knows that it's, it's me. They know that it's on your oath. So I don't even, he reported that it was me to the Sheriff's Department. So the Sheriff's Department may not even show up. But they were working on private property here. This is a private lot. But I guess it looks like there's a right of way that goes through there. So they're a public right of way that goes through there. So they are clearing this out. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see if the Sheriff's Department shows up. Have a chat with He's in. Hello. I have a. Uh, are you a supervisor? What's your name, sir? Yeah, I wanted your name because I have a complaint to turn in. But you won't identify? You don't even have a badge. Or is it? I, are you an officer? Are you an officer? What's your name then? He doesn't have a badge. Sir, can you identify yourself? Okay, guys. You see what they did there? That guy won't identify himself. Did not have a star on. Did you see? He didn't have a star on his chest. Yeah. He better be an officer. Yeah. He better be an officer. Not a security personnel. Right. <laughs> Intimidating or impersonating a police officer. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I don't even know if that guy works here. He could be a lawyer. Seriously, guys. I'm trying to turn in a complaint, and that's what they're doing. Won't identify. What? Oh, good. He's like, yeah, right. Yeah, right. No way. I knew he was going to do that. All right. All right, so we are, again, having them interfere with the complaint process. They have told me numerous times to turn it into a supervisor. That guy, I believe, would not tell me if he was a supervisor or not. Um, he also would not identify. Yeah, would not identify. Wait, Again, we were... Uh, the I don't know. Have they even asked? I love you. No. You too. Oh, thanks, girl. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, good luck with them. Oh, now he's got a star on. Are you kidding me? Ready? Now you have a star. Where was the rest of it? We can't identify you as a court security officer without any identifying. Like Can you let me know your name so I know who I turned it into just for my documentation? Yeah. Sir, you're interfering with the complaint process. <laughs> All right, he has again interfered with the complaint process. He now has a star on and some sort of court security badge, so at least that's something. Miss Donna does have her badge on. I'm gonna wait for Donna. She's sending him for some reason. I don't know who that guy is. Does anybody recognize him? Anybody locally? I think it's the first time I've seen him too. He's probably new. Okay, so we have two FOIAs and a complaint form. Which we, we know who Donna is, so why don't we send Donna out if he doesn't want to give his identity? You know what? All right, we're going to have to do something else here. Another no name, that's right. Side. My hair is not on the chair. <laughs> it's the rest of it. Hold on. 
Yeah, they love digging holes, guys. It's like uh, it's like we're watching Shia LaBeouf here. Take my mask out of my glove. Yep, so she has no cell phone. No I have her cell phone. Oh, shoot. Well, here's mine. Here's hers. So she has nothing. So, according. Where is this? What does this say? Um. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, we'll give them that. So, where? I don't want to be a kid to battery you, sir. I'd like to hold the door myself. Very good.